2010. Me and my friends, we decided to go for a music festival called Sara Outside. It lasts for three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Although on Sunday, most of my friends already left, I decided to stay with these three girls I barely knew. I was hanging in this chill area. I bought the Santa Barbara wine. Like in most festivals, I had to grab it and throw it over the fence. So it's just me chilling, drinking some wine. Two, three meters away, this guy comes in. Apparently he's a bartender. Once he set up the bar, he decided to go for a smoke. He's like, yo bro, you have a lighter? Well, I did have my gay festival bum bag. And stuff like MP3 player, flashlight, text batteries and shit. A lighter, bro, there you go. As a good gesture, this guy decided to give me this drink called Three Nines. Plus some tomato juice. Just to let you know, Three Nines equals to one and a half devil. I didn't feel like drinking it, but in Lithuania, if someone offers you a drink, you have to take it. Because it might seem offensive. Although it seemed nasty, I took the shot. <sighs> 10 hours before, me and my friends, we went to this beaver's pancakes kiosk. I had ham and cheese pancake. So check this out. Pancakes plus drinking wine for three hours. I was quite sober. I was seriously sober. And then I got this shot. This nasty freaking shot. Half an hour later, I feel that something's happening. I decided to leave the chill area and go for the stage one. With every step I took, I felt worse, worse and worse. I happened to find my pals, Hugo and Marty. Hey dude, how are you doing? I wasn't feeling well. Well, you know guys, I'm good, I'm pretty good, you know, just chilling. You know, listening to some music. <laughs> It's super painful when you're sober and you're puking your lungs out. Well, three of us, we moved. They were pretty nice, they took care of me. While I was puking all over the place. Even the girl with the banana in the bushes was like, What the fuck were you eating, bro? Oh, check, a dumpster. <laughs> it was raining all over the place. We split with the guys, I decided to go for the camp. A bin! <laughs> I managed to get to the tent, all soaked in water, freezing, tried to sleep, I couldn't. Every time I closed my eyes, I felt like that beaver devil was eating from inside of me. I just had to leave that tent. So that's me, by the fireplace. Stars, moonlight, candles, puking all over the place. Oh, Such romance. I didn't sleep at all. In the morning, the girls came out of the tent. They were like... To describe the image, it was ham, pancakes and cheese. Pretty much what I had the other day for breakfast. <laughs> we left. One of the girl's brother had a convertible. Awesome. It's actually a bad way to drive a car. I'm finally home. I passed out. 11... 40 something. Once I woke up, it was 12. Apparently, I slept for more than 24 hours. My mom was like, Chris, are you awake? Yeah, mom, I am awake. What's up? Good, I made some pancakes. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode number three. Thumbs up for my throat. Definitely leave a comment below if you have a similar puke story I should know about. Definitely uh, click the subscribe button if you feel like it, if you want to hear similar stories like this one. My episode number two is just over there. Um, you can press the video blog if you feel like it. And that's about it. Okay, this was Chris Awake and I'm out.